Today, y'all, my good friend Aaron McCargo, a.k.a. Big Daddy, is going to be stopping by to prepare some of his favorite dishes. Aaron's going to start us off with his rockin' roast pork shoulder. Look at the way it's coming off of that bone. And then he's going to show us the secret ingredient for his Spanish fries. Sasson. Sasson, y'all. Sasson. And then we're going to fry up some Cajun tempura okra. Oh, this go. is looking delicious. And while that's frying, we're going to be making a scallion dipping sauce. You are going to be fine, says Mama. And to top off this whole meal, y'all, a candy snack cake with a chocolate frosting. You are Big Daddy's girl! So tell us exactly what we're going to need, Aaron, to get this beautiful piece of pork shoulder underway for you. Gotcha. We're going to need, uh, like, 12 cloves of garlic, uh -huh. which we're going to smash slightly, and we're going to put in, okay. in the 12 slits you're going to make. Okay. One onion. I already got okay. the bell pepper to make the sofrito, okay. and we're okay. going to need some cilantro. Okay, so you need garlic, you mm -hmm. need onion. Yipper. Oh, we got cilantro right here. Okay. And I'm one of those girls that loves to try all kinds of spices, so what is this? Sasson. Sasson, y'all. This is uh, Spanish season we use a lot, more so for color. I'm learning something there new here go. today. Just tell me what okay. you want me to do. We're going to trim two thin slices of this. We're okay. going to cube it up, and we're going to fry it, because we're going to make our Spanish rice later. I'm going to let you go ahead and put okay. like, some slits, and then let me get this off my hands. OK. You said you wanted like a dozen yeah, uh -huh. uh, cloves of garlic. It's just like cutting butter down in there. You know what? I chilled the pork up pretty good so that it's firm, uh -huh. because it's easier to cut. It just feels like, you know, if it chews as tender as it's cutting, I think it's going to be very, very good. Definitely. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. The more the slits, the better. I'm just going to take our garlic and mm -hmm. give it a whack. You got it. You're going to stick the whole thing down in there. That's perfect. I'm going to just stuff him down in there. Paula, while you're doing that, I'm going to chop up this onion, throw in the peppers, and the onions. Chop up the cilantro and get that in. Uh -huh. And I'm going to put some olive oil in here. We're okay. just going to make a little smooth paste of this. Okay, no. Well, let me grab you some Beautiful. olive oil. All right. There we go. There you go, darling. And as soon as you're done with that garlic, I'm going to let you go ahead and make this the rub up, which is real simple rub. It's okay. just going to be that sasson and adobo. And pretty much adobo is just uh, the Latin Spanish version of season salt. You know, it has a, oh, okay. a nice amount of salt in there. Okay. It has some garlic flavor, some onion, okay. and some hidden ingredients that we'll never know. And one thing about pork, I like to cook the pork nice and slow so that fat breaks down. Yes. And then it just, and with these slits right here, all that juice, and that's just going to close up and keep that garlic in there. And it's going to really marinate the meat inside out. I'm going to measure out a quarter cup of olive oil, pour it in, and flip the switch. And we want to save a little bit of this later because we're going to put something in our Spanish rice as well. Okay. Now, are you pureeing that up pretty good? Yes. Maybe you... you know what? I'm going to do like a, I want it to be like a paste. Gosh, it smells so awesome. good. I always think of this um, when I think of spring. All right, so I'm going to run down here and wash my hands, Aaron. Okay. Or Big Daddy. <laughs> I love it when you call me Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when I call you Big Daddy. <laughs> A lot of love in here. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and sit this pork right in here after you've done that, and we're going to season okay. everything in there. Now, what is this? Now, that's that um, that adobe. That's oh, okay. the, the Latin version okay. of season salt. So you're going to probably use about like a tablespoon of that. You're going to put like three envelopes of that sauce three on there. Three envelopes? Oh, yes. Okay. Got a nice, bright orange color to it. All right, so I'm just going to stir that together. We've got a, a pretty yellowish orange. Now, okay. we got this sofrito, and we got your season. Uh -huh. We'll put okay. you about Three. a quarter cup. Yeah. There you go. And when you get that mixed up, and you get so that So we're going to have a wet, a wet paste. There you go. And it's going to sink into those holes with this uh -huh. garlic. I'm just going to spoon it yeah. on. And I'm going to do one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things in the kitchen, and that's rubbing my meat and massaging it. This is this is one of the things that I enjoy. And look at this, It's you can see the little bit of fat that we have on this pork that is turning a bright yellow. We're just going to transfer it to the bowl. Transfer it to the dish. So you got right, this so looking real good. So it's ready to go. Beautiful. Look at that. Do you like the color? I love the really? color of it. Yeah. Paul, I'm going to cover up this pork with some aluminum foil. So in my oven, in your oven and say uh, 300 
Yeah, about 300. Freezer, Darren. Yep. For three hours. Three hours. And then? Then we're going to take off the foil, uh -huh. bump up the heat by 4, 450. Uh -huh. 20 minutes to crispy on the top. Just let that little bit of fat just nice and crispy. brown off. It sounds yes. delicious. What we're going to do is that pork we trimmed up earlier, we uh -huh. cut off. We're uh -huh. going to cut that in cubes. Okay. And I'm going to do that with a small diced onion. Okay. We're going to throw it in there with that about sounds... two tablespoons of butter. Okay. Is that cool with you? This is sounding so good. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to put right, the well, seasons in there. Oh, excuse okay. me. No, no. I didn't mean to knock that your lunch off of you. I'm going to sure. just slip in here and find me a spoon. Okay. And I'm going to dice this onion up okay. real quick, and we're going to add that. And you said butter. a couple of tablespoons. You got it. Do the Paula tablespoons, of course. Okay. That looks perfect. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to dice these onions. Throw it over here in the pot, You honey. got it. All right, so we're going to dice some yep. meat. I want this like in real small pieces. Uh-huh. What do you want me to add to this? We're going to go back to the sasson. We're going to open okay. those two packs. Okay. So you figure about a, a tablespoon. They're actually half ounce packs. And then we're going to go with a tablespoon of adobo. So you want a little black pepper? Yep. Now we're going to add two cups of rice. Now I'm going to go ahead and get four cups of water in here. I'll put this on the top. OK. About two tablespoons. It's going to boil halfway. Once uh -huh. we start to see the rice a little bit, kill it down to real low, okay. put the lid on it, and we don't stir it at all. And just let it Yeah, so we're away. in about 40 minutes. Okay. Coming up, Big Daddy shows me a new way to fry up one of my old-time favorites. You are going to be fine, says Mama. Then we're going to move on to a scallion dipping sauce oh. for our fried oh. okra. It don't need nothing. And later, I show Big Daddy a thing or two about bacon. Big Daddy here doesn't like to be held back. <laughs> I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Where did that. you get that name, Big Daddy? You know what? I actually got the name Big Daddy um, from being on the Next Food Network star. Kelsey would come and say, you're like my Big Daddy. She's like, you're just a big guy. So I kept that Well, name. that's a very good name. I like that. We're up here slicing okra, y'all. And aaron has got me taking these okras and slicing them down the middle. So I don't know what he's got cooking here, but he's cooking something up. I just love okra any way I can get it. So I'm thrilled that you've chosen uh, to share an okra recipe with us. Well, I'm going to tell you what. It's a very simple Cajun tempura recipe. We're going to get this thing going. OK. I've got our fryer all heated up for Beautiful. us. Now, what you're going to do is I'm going to let you go ahead and start with the wet. And I'm going to start okay. with the dry. And pretty okay. much, you're going to need a tablespoon of sugar. OK. You're going to need a cup of cornstarch. Okay. And you're going to need a cup of flour. And then we're going to okay. go with 16 ounces of soda water. Foaming up in there like a carbonated drink. So with my dry mix, all I'm going to do is put in here a cup of flour. I always like to have the flour first so that when you soaking all this stuff uh -huh. into the flour, it sticks and it have to uh -huh. help the tempura stick to it. And what okay. are you going to add to it? And now I'm going to add a season. tablespoon of Cajun season. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put a tablespoon to a cup of flour. So it's going to have a little. Exactly. A little bite. And then also, I'm going to put about two tablespoons, which we're going to sprinkle on here. But once we get it all in there, when you mm. bite in the okra, you're going to get the bite from the flour. Good. It's going to bite crunchy. me fast. It's going <laughs> to. I like that. Well, you're going to get a big bite. <laughs> I'm just going to okay. sprinkle this over. We're just going to get a mix of it. Yes, you know it. You know it. Okie doke. So first, I toss the okra with the Cajun spice. Then Aaron's going to toss them in our dry ingredients. And when he's done, I'm going to toss them in the wet ingredients. I'm going to give them a little shake and then just drop them in the peanut oil that's been preheated to 375 degrees. This go. is looking delicious. Beautiful. All right, so our sauce. I'm going to chop you up about a cup of scallions. You've got some sour cream here. You've yeah. got honey. Mm-hmm. So you're going to need that whole container, about 16 ounces of sour cream. OK. And about a quarter cup of the honey. And I brought the cayenne pepper back into the picture for a little bit more of that hidden heat. Okey doke. All right. Michael Grove is going to love you. <laughs> All right, say like a quarter of a cup. A quarter of a cup. 
we just going to add that, that hidden like sweetness. That's quarter of a cup. I see that okra's looking good. It might not get to make it to the sauce. We <laughs> may have to fry up some more of this stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut it up just a little All bit right. more. OK. All right, so how much of the kind? About a teaspoon, but to each his own. OK, so about a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to shake it on in there, because I don't want to accidentally put a Why are you doing it? Let me big go old whop of that. I have some of these scallions Oh, there. gosh. This is, color. this is looking wonderful, y'all. I'm probably going to need like a good teaspoon and a half of salt, because we're going to salt that okra, of course, when it comes Sour out. Sour cream demands salt. Yes, it, it does. Yes, it does. All right, so about a teaspoon. You got it. Paul, I think it's time for me to check on the roast. Oh, Paul, look at this. Look at what's going on. Oh, you just hush. And look at that little layer of fat, y'all. Ooh. And I'm going to crank this oven up. Aaron, now I want you to look at our okra. All right, I'm going to stick my finger in this if and I'm it's salty stick my enough. In it too. Oh. Paula, it don't need nothing. It don't need nothing, nothing to eat it. except a set of lips. <laughs> <laughs> look at there, y'all. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and chop uh -huh. the cilantro. OK, what, wanna, what you going to do with that? That's going to go into our rice. I was going to say, done. don't put it in this. We don't need oh, a no, thing. Oh, no, no. And then I'm going to go ahead and crack these peas open. Look at this tempura batter, y'all. Nice and light. Isn't that pretty? Oh, if, once you salt it, I'm going to taste it. I can you want me to salt it? Just a little bit. OK. Oh, and you kind of need to do that, like, right out of the fryer. Right out of the fryer. You know, so it'll stick to it. I'm, like, starving. Me too. OK, well, I think I might let mine cool a little bit by dipping it in that. And let me know what you think. You are going to be fine, says Mama. Says Mama, I think it says a compliment. Yum. And you love it. Mm. It's like an okra wrapped in chips. It is like an okra chip. Mm -hmm. I'm just finishing up the cilantro for the rice. I think I'll have one more. <laughs> you go ahead. I'm going to crack over these pigeon peas. I'm going to drain them off. I'm going to have you add two tablespoons of cilantro. Now I'm going to add the pigeon peas. And Paul, this pea is also known as the no-eye pea. It's a legume most popular in the tropical regions. Now all we need is the lid, and we're good to go. So it's not going to take but just a minute. If the okra is this good, I can only imagine, y'all, what the pork's gonna taste like. Coming up, it's time to get the roast out of the oven. Look at the way it's coming off of that bone. We get started on our snack cake. Doesn't that sound yes. wonderful, y'all? And later, you'll never guess what I'm gonna add to the frosting. Is that not mm. looking oh. sinfully delicious? I'm speechless. I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I wanna hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. All right, so we're going to get the meat out? Yes, we are. Oh, Look at that my baby. Oh. It looks delicious. Look at the way it's coming off of that bone. Ooh, and that pretty orange color. Yes. You know, I think this fabulous meal that you have prepared us today deserves a sweet ending. I'm gonna make you a candy bar snack cake. Come on down here with me. Uh, I'm gonna start by creaming one cup of softened butter, and then if you would break each egg. You got it. So, you wanna measure me out a cup of sugar? You got it. And I want you to tell everybody, when you were a little boy, you did bake. Yes, I did. Tell everybody what you used. You know what? I got to feel someone put you up to this one. <laughs> but honestly, we had an easy bake oven. We would get like the peppermints, candy, whatever we have for snack, all over the room. And I would put it in the easy bake pan, and I would bake it in the oven. And that was dessert. So uh, I guess my mom and dad knows where all those cavities came from. Thank you. Well, you know what? <laughs> I am so jealous. I never had that easy bake oven. I'm gonna throw in the last egg. If you would just measure us out like a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. And this is looking pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put our dry ingredients together. Okay. And I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup 
of cocoa. And I'm gonna add one cup of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. If you wanna start creaming that, All right. I'll just kind of start adding that to our butter and sugar. Gotcha, okay. This is a regular routine. Bacon is really a formulated process. And something tells me that Big Daddy here doesn't like to be held back. <laughs> you know Am Big I Daddy right? well, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Big Daddy likes to just dive that's in and right. go for it. You said it. We keep you in line with a, when we're baking. All right, now I'm just gonna take our spatula. Beautiful. And bring those dry ingredients down. I'll finish this up. Okay. And I tell you what, I've got an eight by eight pan over sure. there. And I've got some tin foil. Okay. If you would just line that pan with the foil, okay. then we'll be ready to pour our battery in. And you wanna make it bigger than the pan mm -hmm. so we have something to lift it out with. So I got my battery ready. All right. All right. Pan is ready for you, Paula. If you'll hold the bowl, okay. I'll scrape our battery in. You got okay? it. And we're going to bake this for 22 minutes. Okay. In a 350 degree oven. Get it in here, Big Daddy. <laughs> I got you, Miss Paula. All right. Bottom shelf. All right. Perfect. So in the oven. And let's what taste time the food. Is it? You know what time it is. Eating yeah. time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Two times. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. This is just this out is of lovely. this world. Coming up, we top the cake with our candy frosting. I'm politized. And I surprise Big Daddy with one of his childhood favorites. <laughs> I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. All right, now we're gonna do the best part of this candy bar snack cake, which is the icing. Gotcha. So I'm gonna add about a fourth of a cup of butter, which is a half a stick. If you'd measure out two tablespoons okay. of cocoa. So we just want to mix our cocoa up in that little bit of butter. Now we're going to add three tablespoons of buttermilk. Here's a cup of confectioner's sugar. I'm going to add another cup later. So I know y'all are wondering, well, where's the candy bar? If you would chop those candy bars up, I'm going to put them over in here and let them melt. I went with a candy bar that was filled with peanuts, caramel, and nugget. Aaron, get that cake out of the oven. Okay. Because this is melting pretty good. Oh, oh it looks beautiful. <laughs> Look at this oh, thing. Oh, gosh, it does. All right, why don't you mm -hmm. just turn that out. Okay. Just like that. You got it. On to that cake and that tin foil if it. I see why you use the foil uh -huh. now. Yeah, so. Okay. And you're going to want to put your frosting, y'all, on the cake while it's warm. Okay. Oh, my goodness. No problems this is at all. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> perfect, just like everything else that we cook yes. today. Yes. And listen, I don't do anything, Erin, uh -huh. that I don't have fresh whipped cream for, do I, y'all? You got so it. So grab that fresh all cream. All right. And that's our second cup of confectionate sugar. Okay. Want this mint to come over, too? Absolutely. Is that not looking Paul. sinfully delicious? I'm speechless. I'm politized. You're politized. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're going to put that on our warm cake. Okay. You want to do the honors? All righty. Just pour it right on top. Okay. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, my God. Wait now. With a light hand, honey. Just help oh, yeah, him see roll why, yeah. down a little bit. Beautiful. Oh, Lick that spoon. <laughs> All right, so let's mm. cut us a piece. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I see why you do the homemade whipped cream. Oh. 
Oh, I'm like a little kid right now. Come I on, know. Mommy, happy to have. I know it. You're teasing Why me. Why are you taking so long? When's it gonna be ready? <laughs> I'm getting so excited, I can't even pinch off my mint. I'm getting excited. Are you? I'm very excited. Oh, me too. All right, and I saved just a, a little something for garnish. You are our big daddy's girl! Oh, <laughs> God! You do it big, baby. I yes, love it. I like it big. You honey. do it big. We're going to have our dessert on the sofa. Okie dokie. If you can get over here, if the dogs yeah. sit here for a minute, I want you to dig in. I do want to dig in. Look at my voice got all high on you. Goodness. <laughs> Is it not delicious? Love. First word that came to my mind. Well, I feel the same way about oh, everything you that you fixed. And before we close today, though, I've got something for you. Oh, really? Yes, I do. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> and guess what? Oh, my goodness! Just for me! <laughs> y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>